We had a rod that was up at about five feet of water, no weight or anything on it. And it went off about four or five minutes ago and it had a nice kokanee on and it was surfacing like crazy out there. And unfortunately it got off. So hopefully that's a sign of good things to come, I guess, that we had a kokanee on this early. But um, we're hoping to actually accomplish a two-man limit today. So that is the goal. And as you guys know, Kokanee series, something that we are trying to fill the freezer and offset all the venison I have from hunting. So my wife really enjoys salmon. So that's kind of the whole purpose of this Kokanee fishing tour, I guess, is to catch as many Kokanee salmon as possible before hunting season. I look forward to what today brings and I hope you guys are enjoying this little series and we will turn this camera back on once we have a fish. Second fish landed in the morning, little 12 inch cutthroat. That's a two. Nice. Well guys, we finally just landed our first kokanee. We've had two more on, so we've had a total of three kokanee on that have gotten off. And uh, Lips just landed a nice one. Probably one of his biggest ones yet. So, we'll show you guys here in a second. Yeah. Look at that toad. That's a sweet coconut. That's definitely the biggest one I've caught. That's a good looking fish. That is. It's a sweet looking fish. Heck yeah, dude. Sweet, man. We'll keep in. Nice. Thanks, dude. Good net. All right, guys. Carson just caught this nice rainbow. Um, 14-inch rainbow. And then I landed this coke 15 inch kokanee sweet hit a little school of them right there we're gonna turn back around and see if we can't get, grab a couple more that little sprocket's too uh got the belt spinning too fast i don't know what this one is doesn't really feel like a cutthroat. Oh, nice coke. Big old coke. Nice. That's a tuna, dude. Will you hit mark on the fish finder and mark this spot? All right, guys, just got another coke. 17 and a half inch coke, real nice fat one. That is sweet. That's the best feeling. Easy, oh. easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big one, dude. Get off our line, dude. Oh. Holy. Shit. 
Nice. <laughs> nice. That's a dude. big old thing. Good Cars, what just happened, dude? We just hooked into a good one, man. A really good one. Is these tires? Yeah, look at that stud. It's a, stud, it's a fatty. Measure that thing. 18 and a half. Nice. No, probably 18. 18. Dud, Adam. I will, dude. Nice. Look how fat that thing is. That thing is. That's a toad, dude. That is. That's got to be your new PB, right? Woo! Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I had to pull this one off and put a two ounce weight on her. Yeah, maybe the... Looks like a rainbow, ain't it? Yeah. It's an inch. They're no fun to catch out there catching good coats. I know. Well, that one had that one ounce weight. Oh, did I put the wrong one off? Either way, you caught a fish. Now he's fighting. Swing. Wrong species. Try again. Better luck next time. Hell yeah, dude, he's still on. That guy just caught one too. That guy's a wizard, dude. <laughs> uh, I think that's a Coke. Oh, it got off. Dang it. Yeah, dang, dude, he broke my hook off. Or was that even clipped? Jumbo. Dang. Oh, he took the whole thing. Yeah. They just hooked into a coat there. Drop the mark. Yeah, that that one I just caught was at like 35 or 40. That's too bad, dude. That's too bad. I was excited to catch one on this. And it looked like a decent coat, too. Yeah. Hell yeah. Is it a good one? Through this. What'd you catch him with? You... That one, I was just letting out again. Really? So it must have been high. Yeah. Alright, guys, got another coke. Um, 17 incher. It's a good one, guys. Looks like a coke. Hell yeah. We're getting there, bro. Heck yeah. Nice net, bro. Ooh. Not bad. Nice. Green back. That's pretty good.
Yeah, it looks like a Coke. You may need to come up higher, dude. The waterfall. Oh, nice rainbow. Ooh, that was lucky. What? Oh, did the hook pop out? Yeah. Nice net, dude. Something's moving inside of the body. <laughs> Alright guys, that is the total for today. Six kokanee. And unless we pick up one more on the way in, that's what we finished with. It was a little slower here towards, well at the beginning and the end. The middle was pretty good, but uh, we finally kind of figured out where these kokanee were and uh, it paid off pretty good. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this episode and we will see you guys next time. What's going on guys? Right now I'm going to show you how I prepare and smoke the kokanee salmon I've been catching. So I hope you enjoy it. I know there's a bunch of ways to do this. This is one of the most popular ones that I've seen and I've tested it a couple times and I absolutely love this recipe. First things first is I'm going to set my Camp Chef Woodwind 34 Wi-Fi to the lowest temperature it can go, which is 160 degrees. While that is warming up, I am going to show you guys how I prepare the brine and season these things to eat. So you can prepare these at any rate you want. In here I have four or five fillets. So these I caught a couple of hours ago. And now I'm going to put them in a brine. Normally I do smaller batches of one or two, but I feel like I could have a big family dinner, have some friends over, and this would be perfect to feed everybody. So what I'm going to do is a four to one ratio of brown sugar to kosher salt. So for example, if you had one cup, you would want three quarters cups of brown sugar and a quarter cup of kosher salt. So I'm going to put that stuff in here, mix it up really good, and I'm going to let this sit for 24 to 48 hours. Lucky for you guys, I prepared a couple fillets from a giant kokanee I caught the other day, and they've been in a brine for 48 hours. So these things, as you can tell, there's quite a bit of li liquid that gets drawn out from the fillets. So, these fillets are perfect. A lot of people like to take the fillets and rinse off any additional brown sugar or salt. But I personally like to keep that on there. I'll brush big clumps of it off. So I'm gonna pull these out and throw them on the smoker. All right guys, so the smoker is up to temperature. Now I'm gonna throw these fillets on there. So like I said, there's a big clump of brown sugar here. So that's a giant kokanee fillet. Take that and put it towards the back of the smoker. Grab this other big fillet. Throw it right here. And these things. Close that. And normally it takes around four to five hours at this temperature. I like my kokanee to cook low and slow. And I like to pull them off once the internal temperature of the fillet reaches around 160, 165 degrees, but it's a personal preference. But I will show you guys what the finished product looks like when it's done. But I personally like to leave the rib bones in there um, all connected because after it's cooked, it's super easy to grab the rib bones and yank them out. So I will see you guys in five hours. Okay guys, so the salmon just finished up. Got my internal temp around 165. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. It smells so good. Nice caramelized salmon there. Starting to peel up on the edges a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do is head inside, grab the edge of the rib bones, rip them out, peel the skin off, and throw it on a bed of rice, and that is dinner. So thanks for following along on this little catch and cook segment, guys. I appreciate you watching this YouTube video. And if you guys want to see more fishing, 
please leave a comment below. I it'll help us out a lot because I'm honestly curious. Like, should I go turkey hunt or should I keep fishing? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks, guys.